Ever look at a dam and wonder how much force is acting on it? In this video, we'll be going over how to find the hydrostatic force acting on a dam. In this problem, we have a rectangular dam with a water height of 3 meters and width of the water of 50 meters. We want to find the force that is acting on the dam. The first step of this problem is to find the height of the equivalent average pressure on the dam. For a rectangular dam, the average pressure happens halfway between the highest and lowest water level. Hydrostatic pressure can be found by taking the density of the water times gravity times the height of the water. Being that we want to find the pressure halfway down, we are using the height of 1.5 meters. After we plug in all of our numbers into the formula, we get an answer of 14,715 newtons a meter squared average pressure on the dam. For your reference, I have placed a graphic of the hydrostatic pressure as we go deeper. Notice that it is a linear function. I have also placed a video that demonstrates how the pressure increases as we go deeper. In this example, I have a bottle with three holes at varying depths. You can see as the holes get deeper, the velocity of the water is greater, so there is a greater pressure as we go deeper. The second step of this problem is to find the area of the dam that is underwater. In this case, we can take the height of 3 meters times the width of 50 meters to get the area of 150 meters squared. The final step of this problem is to take the average pressure times the area underwater to get the force acting on the dam from the hydrostatic pressure. In this example, we have 2,207,250 newtons of force on this dam. This is equivalent to 496,209 pounds for those of you who think in Imperial. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. I recently changed my channel symbol and added engineering to the end of my channel name. Let me know what you think in the comments below.